Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna be painting with some coffee. So right now I'm gonna be making some coffee to use for paint. Got some leftover stuff from this morning. But I don't think that's gonna be dark enough so I'm gonna make some extra strength stuff. We're gonna use uh, scooter blend. It's, it's my favorite. Really has that kick to it. Alright, now we wait. And while that's going, I've got some uh, instant decaf house blends that we're gonna make at super concentrated levels. The patented Starbucks swirl. That looks so gross. And in Peter Draw's video where he was attempting to paint with coffee, he tried his nasty instant coffee mixture. And so I think it would just be right if I did the same. Oh, and that was super delicious. Yeah, yum. Got three different kinds of coffee. Got some medium roast, instant deliciousness, and dark roast. Um, I think I want them to cool down before I paint with them, so I'll be back in uh, like an hour. So we're gonna try out the different coffee because it's all cooled down now. Uh, first I want to try the medium roast that I had this morning. That's got a pretty pretty good color to it. I wonder if the dark roast is gonna look any different. Mm, possibly maybe just a tiny bit. Instant coffee, that's where it's at. That is much darker. Alright, so there's my swatches. I've got medium roast, I've got the dark roast, which kind of was a fail, and then the instant coffee. So I'm going to draw a sketch and then I'm going to paint it in just a bit. Alright, see you in a bit. So here's my sketch. It's a drawing of Peter Draws, who is a YouTube artist, and his channel's um, pretty good. He does a lot of non-objective line drawings and always has like a really interesting voiceover. He could like literally talk about anything and somehow it would still be really like interesting and entertaining. So in one of his videos he attempts to paint with coffee and honestly it's probably my favorite video of his. Um, you should check it out after you watch this video and I'll have a link to it in my description. And um, anyway he loves his coffee and for a while now I've been wanting to try painting with coffee. And I thought it would just be a good idea to paint a portrait of him in coffee. Um, so I had some troubles with this portrait and the main reason was that I drew his eyes too far apart. So guys, like a, seriously like an important thing, when you're drawing portraits, use some type of measuring tool on like the reference photo to try to get an accurate estimation of like how far apart their eyes are because I made his eyes way too far apart and it just looks really weird but um I figured that out and after like trying to draw his eyes like four times I finally get it in the end so you can see me struggle a little bit um but also yeah when painting with coffee I found that it's actually a pretty forgiving medium it stains the paper but it's rather easy to just like apply some more water on top and then just like wipe it off with a towel and it takes it off pretty well, so that's a good tip to think about. 
Um, I did end up using a dark brown colored pencil just because I, I, I needed to get some darker details in there and I really couldn't achieve them using just the coffee itself and I didn't have a fine, fine enough paintbrush so that kind of made it difficult but I like the uh, mixture of the coffee and the brown colored pencil I think it works well okay so now that we have the painting address um, let's talk about some of my coffee job work stories so um, before I moved I worked at a coffee stand and it was located in the gas like the parking lot of a gas station and we'd like go over there for change or to go to the bathroom and stuff but like one day I was talking to a customer and then I heard like this like really high-pitched shriek and this guy was trying to pull a lady out of her car and it was really scary I was like what am I get? what am I supposed to do am I supposed to call the police like my phone was turned off because I was like trying to charge it so I was like scrambling to try to get it on and then um I saw some of the workers from the gas station they're like like really strong dudes <laughs> <laughs> They're tall, strong dudes. So they just like tackled this dude and like put him in a choke, choke hold, and like their fists flying, and people were punching each other and holding these people like down on the ground. And then the the police arrived and arrested these people. And um, I found out later that the this guy and his girlfriend were traveling across the country, like stealing people's stuff from their cars, and sometimes even stealing the people's cars themselves. And so they had been like traveling across the country and they were trying to get onto the freeway and the gas station was close to the freeway entrance and their car just like slid down the hill so then they, they came over to the gas station to try to get a different car to like drive off and um, it was pretty scary but it was nice knowing that the um, dudes at the gas station, the gas station guys, <laughs> they um, handled the situation pretty well so I felt like way more safe knowing that I worked close to some guys like that. But anyway, um, after I moved I got a job at Starbucks and across the street there were a few like food trucks. So one day I was actually not working this day but I, I heard about this um, like the next day from my coworkers. Um, apparently a, a new guy who started working at one of the food trucks was trying to refill the generator and um, he tried to refill it while it was still on and then it like exploded and <laughs> everything caught on fire so it caught on like two of the three food trucks were on fire and the fire was spreading to like the cars in the parking lot behind it and it was really crazy I, I saw a video and at one point this huge fireball just like flies up and it, like because like I don't know exploded more and um thankfully in the end though no one was hurt it did ruin two of the food trucks about 10 cars and it's sad because like recently I had been getting really into like the Thai salad rolls that they sold there it's like four bucks for like two of those and I would get those for lunch like almost every day <laughs> and then like a week later the food truck exploded so then I like didn't have a cheap lunch alternative anymore um, yeah <laughs> so anyway, um, there's two weird work stories that I have. Do you guys have any weird work stories? Tell me in the comments, because I'm curious. Um, next time I do something like this, I'll probably be painting with different types of teas. I think that could be fun, because um, different teas are different colors, so like, yeah, could like explore the tea color combinations. Um, and next week, I'm going back to my mom's for Thanksgiving. And she has some of my old college art stuff, so I'll dig it out and show you guys. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!